Hi my lovely students how are you all i hope you all are doing well so today in this class we are going to continue our uh, model question paper that what we have started in the previous class that is uh, here it is there that uh, up to the question number 28 we have solved that is mcq so today we are going to see the second main that is here you can see answer the following questions from 21 to 28 in the space provided so you will get the space here and you have to write the answers you can see okay so if you see here the first question is choose the compounds from below materials and write them in the space provided air water salt salt solution sugar salt carbon dioxide and the soil so you have to choose the compounds you know that compounds elements and mixture right so you have to uh, choose the compounds and you have to write here in the same way the second or you will get or option either you can go for this one or else for this one okay if you have written any one you will get the full marks okay so choose the renewable resources from the below and write them in the space provided renewable resources petrol air water diesel solar energy coal soil and kerosene okay so first if we'll solve the first one here if you see the so if you see the air air is not a compound is a mixture then water yes so we have written the water here you can see right next salt solution no then sugar sugar is a again the compound salt no this is not a compound carbon dioxide is a compound okay so here we are having three compounds water sugar and carbon dioxide that what all, all we have written here right so the next one here if you see uh, second question will come to the renewable resources the petrol it is a non renewable air okay wait petrol non renewable air is a renewable water is a renewable diesel is a non renewable uh, then solar energy is a renewable coal is a non renewable soil is a renewable kerosene is a non renewable so air water solar energy and the soil are the renewable resources so this is how you have to write okay children is that clear okay now let's move to the second question here that is question number 22 write any four uses of minerals okay you have to write the uses of minerals or write any four uses of solar energy you can write the uses of minerals or the uses of solar energy whichever will be easy for you you just write it okay so here the first one the minerals minerals are used to construct the buildings if you see the minerals are used to construct the buildings minerals are used in making jewelry the uh, minerals are used in making utensils and minerals are used to make the machines okay these are the few uh, uses okay next one if you see here the solar energy solar energy is used as solar lighting it is used for the uh, solar lighting purpose right solar energy can be used as solar water heater that what we call as solar panels that we use as a solar water heater right so next solar energy can be used as solar electricity the lamps we get solar energy used as a solar cooker to cook the food okay so these are the uh, this one the users of minerals and the, the users of solar energy got it children okay now let's move to the next question number 23 so if you read the question here name any four food materials required for the growth of our body so what are the food materials required for the growth of our body okay so the what are the food materials you can see milk egg beans fish nuts almond etc so these are the some food materials which is required for the growth of a body okay so next one the next question what are or you can see or what are community houses you have to write what is the meaning of community houses and the advantage of it you can write any one advantage of it okay so here if you see the question uh, sorry the answer what is the meaning of community houses the community houses here you have to write community houses so community houses right community houses community houses are the shelter consisting of a single building 
okay it's a kind of shelter that consists a single building with various facilities we'll get all the facilities in the community houses so that we call it as a community houses okay next the advantage what are the advantages of it the safe for children the community houses are safe for children they will many things they will get the things for playing playground okay uh, and the eco friendly it is a eco friendly so that they can get the friends the neighbors will be there okay uh, so that we call it as a community houses that is the house Houses, the shelter consists of a single building with various facilities that we call it as a uh, community houses okay so the next question question number 24 doctors always advise balanced diet so why the doctors always advise to have the balanced diet that you have to write so as you know that the doctor always advise a balanced diet because balanced diet contains all the essential nutrients required by the body for the well growth the proper growth so why they advise the balanced food you know that what do you mean by balanced food children do you know what is the meaning of balanced uh, diet or the balanced food these are the kind of food that contain contains all the type of uh, nutrients that may be carbohydrate protein minerals okay vitamins etc so that we call as a balanced diet so that are essential nutrients that contain essential nutrients that is required by the growth of a body that's why the doctors advise to have the balanced food next question here if you see himalayas least any two advantages of himalayas you have to write what are the uses of Him himalayas so first here himalayas prevent the cold winds from central asia blowing into the india so they are prevent they stop the cold winds that is blowing from the central asia to india next one the second uh, the advantage is that they are the source of many north indian rivers so they are the source of many the many north indians uh, sorry north indian rivers will start from the the origin from the um himalayas okay they are the source of many north indian uh, rivers okay next one here if you see the next question the question number 25 least any four states just a minute okay huh now it will be usable for you properly yes so least any four states of north indian so you know that this is north south east and the West. here you have to write what are the uh, states will come here in the north india you can write any four okay here i have written that is you can see here here i have written what are those punjab i have written punjab haryana uttar pradesh and bihar so these are the uh, the north the states of northern india okay children okay now let's move to the next one that is the next question you can see here or list the uh, four physical features of india yes you have to write any four physical there are four physical features of india right which are those the northern mountains the northern plains the peninsular plateau and the coastal plains these are the uh, physical features of india okay got it okay now let's move to the next question 26 how can we conserve our national natural resources so how we can conserve how we have to preserve or the conserve protect our natural resources what are the natural resources the air water then forest isn't it so the trees the forest trees then these are the natural resources and how we have to conserve it that you have to write so water is conserved by minimal use of it you can use the water in a minimal way don't waste the water unnecessarily so that also you can conserve the natural resource next one natural resources can be conserved by restricting the deforestation what do you mean by deforestation the cutting down of the trees the cutting down of the trees is called as a deforestation so it should be restrict it should be stopped okay so that we can conserve our natural resource instead of that we can go with a forestation that is the plant a tree we can plant the trees okay so next one here reduce reuse and recycle okay so reduce this is also kind of natural resource reduce reuse and the recycle okay next option is there or you can see or okay so if you see because air you can see first we'll read the question teacher is advising to use air water and solar energy instead of present day fuel give reason why the teacher is advising to use air water and solar energy instead of using the fuels so that reason you have to write and what type of resources teacher is advising to use so the bigger the teacher is advising to use air water and solar energy instead of present day fuel because 
air water and solar energy are renewable resources they are the renewable resource once they are depleted once they are over it can be renewable it can be renewed okay it can be replenished and they are safe for environment also whereas fuels are non renewable resources the fuels are the non renewable resources means and they cannot be renewed quickly once they get depleted it cannot be renewed quickly it takes a longer time okay so and it is not good for the environment also if you burn the fuel it will, it will release some many of the uh, poisonous gases that is not good right so these are not safe for the environment also so the teacher advising to use the natural resources okay is that clear yes so now let's move to the uh, next question that is question number 27 okay so here you can see the question number 27 write the different stages of growing any one crop in sequential order okay how we can grow the crop we can take any one crop we'll, we have taken here wheat you can see so how it is what are the stages you have to follow beginning from to the up to the end okay the first stage that is a plowing the crop this is the you can instead of that wheat you can write the jowar ragi millets whatever you want okay because they are having all the uh, same stages will be there the, uh, that what we call as agricultural practices okay first one plowing the crops then first we have to plow the crops okay we have to plow for the crops okay that is nothing but the tilling the crops next is there that is the sowing the seeds so we have we have to sow the seeds isn't it next one that is irrigation that is what do you mean by irrigation the supplying of the water to the plants in a regular interval of time okay that is supplying of water next using chemical or organic fertilizer yes so using a manure or the organic fertilizers next one is there protecting the crops from birds insects and diseases is yes, the protection is also important so the you can grow it very quickly next harvesting the crops this is the last stage to get the crops at the end so these are the uh, uh the agriculture practices or the different stages that is involved in the growing of any of the crop this is in the sequential order this is how it will go from the cropping to the harvesting okay next question or you can see the next question what is solar system the meaning of solar system then was the you have to write the name the smallest and the largest planet and you have to write the character of each one one uh, smallest and one the largest first we'll see what is solar system the sun and its family is known as solar system the sun Sun, which is contains many families it may be the uh, planets asteroids isn't it so this we call it as a uh, that is called as a solar system so which is the smallest planet mercury is the smallest planet so we uh, you have to write one character of it so here i have written it has no water and it is and is the hottest planet in the solar system it is where isn't it so it has no water and is the hottest planet in the solar system which is the largest planet the jupiter is the largest planet or the biggest planet and what is its character it is a gaseous it is a gaseous or the gas giant planet it is called as a, it is a gaseous planet okay giant is nothing but very big it's like a very big ball okay so next one to question number 28 locate the below states and their capitals in the given in the given india map locate the uh, states then and their capitals also okay you have to mention their capitals so first one karnataka where is karnataka in the india map you can see this is the karnataka and which is the capital of karnataka that is bengaluru next we'll come to the kerala so where is the kerala here it is the kerala and which is the capital of kerala that is tiruvananthapuram right next one punjab so if you see there is a punjab and which is the capital of punjab that is the chandigarh next is madhya pradesh so here we are having madhya pradesh so which is the capital of madhya pradesh that that is bhopal is the uh, capital of madhya pradesh right so or you can having the option or also so or locate the below ports in the given india map do you know what is the meaning of port where the ships will land that we call it as a port okay so first one mangaluru of course it comes in the karnataka and see this is a mangaluru next one is there that is the uh, mumbai so this is the mumbai port and next one is the kochi here you will find the kochi the chennai and here you will find the chennai port okay so this is how you have to locate the ports they may be ask you for the uh, ports or the states or the capitals and even the oceans also will, you may, they may ask sometimes which are the oceans will present and even they may ask the neighboring uh, countries or they may ask you the neighboring states of north south east or the west okay so this is all you have to 
uh, I mean to remember. Okay, children, is that clear? So, children, in today's class we have solved uh, this uh, question paper that is of your previous year, March 2023. So just go through it and whatever we have solved that is the MCQ you will get that uh, video link in my description box just go and check it out practice as children okay so if you think this video is really useful to you then you know what you have to do share with your friend like the video and do subscribe my channel till then bye bye.